All right, so what is going on YouTube? Today we will be playing the D Hero deck that I was talking about making. It first started off as a um, uh, what do you call it? A, a, a turbo deck, but then it, it then it turned into um, just a regular D Hero deck. But you know what? It 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 looks pretty fine to me. We're going to play it. We're going to test it out. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, so yeah, uh, this card did come out in Duel of Saga, and it pretty much helps everything. You can facilitate by sending any hero to the grave, right? Yeah, you can send any of these heroes to the grave. Then you can, you know, send miss, search this, D draw, send, you know, send miss, search this, you know, D draw, or just send this and uh, banish it, special summon, then use a polymerization. Just like that. All good, all good in the hood. And you're pretty much good. As you can, as you obviously know, summon this, send this, search this, banish this, search this, polymerization, these two into this, banish the Mali. Get the Beatrice going on board. Then you can go into a level eight also, which with this is, or you can go into uh, not another level six, but yeah, you can only go into a level eight or you could just send like a celestial and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty good. Future fusion did come out. Got it as a rata. Pretty good. It works pretty. I think it was pretty sure it should work with everything on here. Um, I don't know. We're going to see now. I haven't tested the decks. It's testing it with y'all. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into the video. But before we get into the video, I'd like to say, like always, leave a like, leave a comment, leave it, and also subscribe. Not leave a subscribe, but also subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I upload many more like this, and you guys are going to enjoy it if you like this one. And also, if you guys can, click and have to help support the channel. And I thank you very much, and I very much appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into these D Hero. Now I believe Duelist Saga is the is is the name of the pack. I do not know, um, but it should be the name of the pack. And we're starting off first, and look what we open up. We opened up Busted. So now I'm going to do the exact play I was just talking to you guys about. We're going to summon this Vion, and this is just an amazing play right here. This is so amazing. It's so amazing because I just remembered that it does this. Right now we're going to search the Young D Hero, and Vion is just so good uh this it's like it's a it's a plus two pretty much it's a plus two we can get fusion substitute but it won't work so we can't get fusion substitute right now sadly we can't but we do get this polymerization going off and we can get rid of those two put that in the fits what do you do you can describe on card oh that's good oh you bastard oh you you fucking bastard um that doesn't, it shouldn't work, right? That's a cost. Yeah, so that, that shouldn't work. So I'm not tripping about that. But we're going to use this Regeki. So thanks to you. Uh, we're going to use this Mali. So we can set up if we did not have this. You know what we're going to do? We're going to Allure first right now. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to Allure first. Hopefully we don't. Okay, that's, that's good. We're going to actually keep this. We're going to get rid of... Actually, we have to get rid of this because... Okay, what do you do? You can discard one, send one destiny hero from your hand or deck to the graveyard. If you do all destiny hero you control, gains 200 for each. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're just doing this pretty much to, uh, to just set up for next turn, really. It doesn't really matter what we put in there. What do you do? You don't do anything, do you? We can, uh, um, I guess we just get all celestials in the grave. So just when we get ready. We can just, you know, destroy our opponent with some of the nastiness. And what we could have did was, um, it would have been a real good play. We could have easily, um, not easily, but easily. See, we could send Fusion Substitute and shit like that, which is good. But we're going to send this Plague, and then I guess we're going to top deck this Plague. Because what we're going to do right now is go into a Omega. And Omega is just a fantastic card. And then, next turn... We can get our Celestials cracking off because we would have multiple D heroes in the grave, and it's just that's just good. So that's really good. Look at look at this look at this board setup. This is pretty good. This is pretty fun to do, and this is a valuable option for you to play with. Um, it's just got to be sent to the graveyard, correct? Yeah. So we're going to return play like we already was going to do, and you know what? We have a pretty good board going. We have a dimensional barrier, but I don't know if he's playing Shadals or just playing Shadal cards. Okay, so we have to call Fusion because I literally, only thing I know about his deck is a Shadal, and I don't want to call it XC, and I do not want to call it Synchros because, I mean, it's clearly why I don't want to do that. So, I mean, it's a Shadal Fusion to shut down Kareem Bandit. Okay, we're going to use you. 
just off top because all right so i i guess it's a shadow i don't even think it's a shadow deck i think it's just a deck with shadows in it so let's go ahead and hold this available um look at that yeah oh jesus christ we're definitely going to see what he sends we're going to wait till everything resolves um gets a soul charge but i don't think he's going to be alive for the soul charge he shouldn't be nope don't need to do anything He's probably going to send a beat. No, a Falco to protect his life points. No, he sends that. Okay. So what we're going to do is send you. Then what we can do right here is go ahead and put fusion substitute in the graveyard. Just to get an extra draw for next turn, which is just amazing. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that's, Ooh, and we drew future fusion. So that's good. I'm going to definitely just activate this future fusion. Um, okay. You don't even have to target. You could just, Okay, well, that I just messed up again. Um, you, you never want to do this first because now, you know, just in case we draw something we couldn't use, that works like that. And I believe that was the last Mally we have, so we're going to just do that. And look at this. We've top deck a, a what's the name, which we could... Oh, I was about to activate. What I meant to do was use Plague. And you know what's good? We can go into a Brio right now, but... I don't think Brio is good. I think Coral Dragon is the best one to do. Actually, do we want to keep the Pot of Desires? That's that's the real question. Do we want to keep it or do we want to go for game? Let's see. That's 28, 2000. That's 48 and 25. That is not game. I don't think we have game here, folks. We don't have game. But you know what? We can put them at a little bit of like. You know what? Let's just go this. Let's just do this. Let's just see what we can get. Um, You know what? We're going to go ahead and just get this pot. Of, we're going to get this. We're going to keep this pot of desires because I really feel like it's a, just a good card to have because we can just set up a massive amount of boards. And if we top deck something good. All right. Um, we just get a diamond dude here. We get a diamond dude at this point. You know, there's no shame in our game. Deck is really running pretty smooth. Then now we can just use this. And so now we just pretty much saved. Oh, my God. We can soul charge. Also, let's see what we banished. A second plague, a brain control, and some traps, but it doesn't matter because we just we, we just really went off. So that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. We need to find a way to possibly put um. So we probably can put part of a video in here. We can possibly do that because um we can get a lot of shit banished, especially with Vion and um what's the name? Especially with Vion and especially with um malicious we can definitely get a whole shitload of stuff banish and so right now we're going to just use this omega target the one the face down banished uh play because that's the only one that he does know about why do i even try to play well sir it's because you know it's Yu-Gi-Oh, and everybody likes to play Yu-Gi-Oh. let's get into another and we are back with the second duel of the day and we won the rock paper scissors again and we opened up mask hero vion again so we're just definitely going to do that play because it's just so fucking good it's a real good play to do um that, that's just really good it's, i'm really surprised we're opening up as much as we are opening up but hey i cannot complain i'm definitely not going to complain because it's just really good to do so what we can do now is um use this see this is what i'm talking about with uh pot of avidity we can literally probably get it cracking and you know what we probably should have got fusion substitute at that point but it's okay because we could have we could have just draw this but you know what we're going to empty our hand r real quick you know and just get say now look we can do that but you know what i don't it's not new no, it's not it's not needed because we can we can do it after we draw. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And this is what I'm talking about with pot of avidity. That's just it's just amazing. But you know what we're going to do? We're gonna thin our deck out because I was just gonna make a terrible mistake. And that mistake would have been using D draw first, and we possibly could have drawn into our last Mally, which would have been very bad, and we would have really just been sitting here looking retarded. But you know what? We're good. We're going to uh, definitely just get this last Mally out of the deck. And as you can see, part of the video is already alive right here. So that's definitely something we can definitely add to this deck um, after after we do the initial testing. And we have drawn another plague. So now we're going to use this part of uh, Desires. We're going to see what we draw here. Ooh, another D draw and another target for D draw. And we only have 
We have one more miss. Uh, one strike is gone. We have one strike in hand. Both barriers are gone. A Regeki is gone. A Foolish, a Twin Twister, and an Allure. But like I said, that's okay. We're going to just turbo through this whole deck. Because that's what the deck is meant to do. Jesus Christ. And we've drawn another Vylon. That is just amazing. So what we can do right now is um, use this Young Plague and put... Really doesn't matter. We're going to uh, possibly... No, we're not going to draw next turn. I don't think we need to play because I guess we're going we're going to go Omega because Omega is so good. And what a lot I, I with, with Link summoning coming out, and since the rule is if Omega gets banished and comes back, it comes back to the monsters. I'm surprised this card is barely at fifty dollars. I know it's it's spiking now, but like it's it's only at fifty dollars. Like I'm really surprised about that. I really thought people were going to pick up on it. Maybe they will. We can just go ahead and put the Celestial down there because that's just amazing. We can because we're drawing to another what's the name next turn, so I don't think that really matters. Upstart, that's completely fine. We have a strike and a storming mirror force with a Beatrice on board and an Omega. Okay, so you know what? Let's strike this. Yeah, let's strike it. Yeah, I want to strike this. I think I do want to strike this. Do I? Let's fucking strike it because I, I don't like DDDs, and this is what happens when you play them. I want to strike you, sir. Okay, that's fine. Come on. Let's see what you got, player. Let's see what you got. He's probably going to quit. He's probably going to quit. Um, And you know what I just noticed? The Celestial might not be able to be activated. Well, yes, it will. Yes, it can. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I could definitely do it. Let's go ahead and use this. Because we could possibly hit this um, Young Swirl Slime. No, we hit this. Which is good, which is really good. So now he has to use something else in his hand. Um, and it, it's just always like every, that's what I was about to say. Every DD, every time I play DDD, they have this exact combo. Kepler, Swirl Slime, and Necro Slime, and, and Arachnorock. So you don't have Lamia, so I guess we're good. Oh, wait, he might have Lamia in his hand. So we might be in a bit of a trouble here. And let me guess, it knows Copernicus, which turns into a Lamia. So... Yeah, they always have the combo. If I let that Kep if I don't let that Kepler go, uh, sorry for that. If you guys are wearing what's the name, if I let that Kepler go, um, this would have searched the land a, a Lamia, but he got to it anyways. But I'm fine. He has to waste all of his resources, which is cool with me. I am not tripping by the long shot, and he's going to banish his Lamia, which I think is just a bad move in general. But hey, I don't play DDDs. I don't know. What I'm talking about. So, okay, I guess you can do that. I guess he's going to go Beatrice. Um, That's the only thing I can really see going on here. Is he going to Beatrice? But, um, okay, well, if he would have ended his turn right there, which he most likely would have, because I'm pretty sure they don't run Beatrice, I would have, um, I just would have, uh, what was I about to say? I was just going to send Fusion Substitute. And then uh, get a draw. Possibly send Fusion Sub to. I would have checked my Banish first to see if I didn't. I had another Palmerization I can get. All right, here we go against Shinigami Core, and uh, he's picking paper. Oh, excuse me, that little bit of spit came out. But he's picking paper, so I'm guessing he's going to let me know. He's not going to let me go first. And ooh, we've drawn actually a kind of bad hand, I would say. But we do have a Pot of Desires, and we do have another call. Ooh, we're playing against E Heroes, so that might be a bit of trouble. Might be a bit of trouble because I'm pretty sure he has Goblinberg or he has, uh, never mind. And my phone is going completely off. All right. So you guys are going to, ooh, that was, a, that was the best draw we could have had. But you guys are going to have to hold on one quick second. All right. Sorry, folks. Sorry, Shem Nagami Core. That was a mistake. I put uh, not, not a mistake. I, just, I got a phone call, sir. Uh, so here we go. We're going to start off with the same combo, which is just, it's just so good, man. It's just, you just, you just, you just tend to start loving it. So now, uh, I, I, I really want a twin twister, but then again, I don't really don't know what to discard. Oh, okay. That's what I can discard. Smart guy. You're a smart guy, man. You're, you're a good smart guy. Thank you for realizing that you have an effect that goes plus two. So we could just definitely get rid of the fusion substitute. Ooh, that, that would have kind of fucked me over. Um, yes, because it is 2,000 attack. That is what it is. So that definitely would have fucked me over. 
But you know what? We're good right now. And you know what? I think we can just uh I think we could um we can do that. But then again, that wouldn't really result in anything but a fusion substitute draw right now. And this that's just I mean, it, it why well, fusion substitute is a very good plus one is just not worth it is uh I, I i'm so used to going first is that i've put this shit in defense mode um but yeah like i said it's not it's not worth the uh okay well that's that's fairly good it is not worth uh not going to an omega with a beatrice and a warning so that's good and you know what i could have actually gotten more out of that could have got a lot more out of, out of that because I do play the Soul Charge. I probably should have went for that. Definitely probably should have went for the Soul Charge instead of the just normal play. Because with mm, with the Soul Charge, we can we could have got it. We could have established another rank six on the board with like a Constellar or some shit like that. And then we could have used the Beatrice Constellar combo, which is sending any card to the grave and pretty much adding anything we want back. All right, so. Hmm. Dimensional barrier strike storming. Um, I guess, you know what, since I do want to, uh, let's go ahead and descend celestial. Let's just return celestial. We do have another play, which for some reason in a 45 card deck, we continue to open up, um, oh. double plague. Well, that's the second game in a row where we opened up double plague, but you have something that, and I know the power of that card. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop that while we're there. Because that card is busted. And I think by the um, end of the weekend, um, we're definitely going to see. Because there is a regionals on Saturday. So I believe that um, we're definitely going to see the results of at least something with this deck. Okay, so with that being said, Celestial is engraved. So I could send Mist, right? I could send a Mist. And search a diamond dude or something, or we could just send drill guy because that's the worst one, I guess, in the deck. Wait, is all diamond dudes banished? No, we got one left. All right, we can send drill guy. Let's send drill guy because I do want that a uh, little, little plus one. Oh, lore. So we got those two back, and let's see. We have fusion substitute. Hmm. Right, we're gonna do a set this, set this, we're gonna normal summon this. And we're gonna do the smart thing now. We're gonna use Celestial first and banish the drill guy. Actually, we could have just banished Mally. That was um that's completely my fault. We just activate this right quick. That doesn't really do anything. Um we can use this fusion substitute. Hopefully we draw into another polymerization. And no, it is a masker of Ion. Um, a lord, another lord, darkness. Uh, let's get rid of the Vion because if we draw D draw, we're good. There's another polymerization, but I don't think we can use it. No, we can't. Um, we can't use it. Okay, so we have a brain control. We have a lot of shit. Um, you know what? Let's just. I guess. I guess we could just do this. Yeah, I guess this is the best option we can do. Uh, go that, and we go that right there. What do you, oh, you can, we can send another one to the grave, huh? I guess mist, because we haven't used mist yet. We can get the celestial. Um, and then we can, yeah, we can use it for polymerization and stuff like that. So that's cool. Look at, look at this damn deck. It's just moving and improving. No, we don't have another polymerization. That is the last one we have because one is banished. Oh, we already used one. Okay. So what we can do now is go coral dragon or we can go Brio and just return this to his hand, which is stupid. Um, we can easily go into a what's the name. Now we can't go crystal wing or we can go another Omega. Um, which one is better? I think crystal wing may be better. It's crystal wing better or what's the name better. I think double Omega might be just the better option right now. Yeah, I think the double Omega is just a better option. Uh, See now we can go what can what's the name? We can go what uh Okay, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna go Palmer uh Constellar. 
And what we're going to do is detach the Mali and then, nope, we're going to return one on the graveyard to the hand. Um, yeah, I guess we get this. Um, and we use polymerization. And then what do you do? This special summon target a level four inflict damage equal to the targeted attack. Don't need to play his turn, just current attack. Okay, well, we're not going to go into that. We're going to go into this because what we want to do is use the young plague to put back, um, fuck, I guess brain control. And then we're going to go into another Omega because this deck is just firing on all cylinders. And then I guess we set the, we just set this. Now to be into that. And so now he's pretty much playing with two cards unless he draws another Vion. And then with that being the case, um, I guess uh, Plague really doesn't really bear anything right now. But you know, we can return one Plague. We can return a Plague and then we can use this to return a Fusion Substitute, get a free draw. Um, Cause yeah, that's just what the, the, the deck was meant to be a turbo deck, but it's 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 doing what its job, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can make this more powerful. Or you guys can help me to make this more powerful. Please just you know send me any type of help. I, I definitely enjoy it. Like I said, that card is definitely my is definitely is going to be making an appearance in here. Pot of Avidity is definitely going to be at two, but it, I have to cut two cards. Um, oh yeah, we also have a future fusion happening next turn. <laughs> and I just noticed I probably don't even have the targets left in my deck. So yeah. That may not work. This may not work. This might just be a, a thing to just keep on a board. Uh, this might be cut because this deck is literally too fast probably for it. Yeah, it's too fast. But then again, it can be that one card that gets you, you know, out of the situation that you that that you're in. And he some he, he searches another uh, violon. So, like I said, that pretty much gets him out of this whole thing. But like I said, we do have double Omega, so he's still, um, whatever he goes into, he pretty much has to work off of, uh, pretty much, yeah, he has to work off of three cards, so, and he has to fight through this, so, um, only way he can probably get away with everything is if he uses, uh, like, if he has mass change, if he has, like, two mass change or something like that, um, there's one monster, there's two, yeah, he doesn't have a third. So these two are spells and traps. So I'm guessing these are masked. They might be mask cards. And since I didn't attack, I'm pretty sure this man is. Uh, and we're going to just discard these two because we can use Celestial's effect and the fusion substitute. Uh, yeah, like, like, they were form change. So we, we, we probably were losing. We can use this. Seriously? Okay, no, I was about to say yeah, we we can't we can't even do it. we don't have enough monsters. So yeah, that was uh that was that was the D hero. Be right back. So yeah, that was D heroes for today. Like I said, um, let's just go ahead and just make the little I uh, guess the what pot of avidity and then inquisitiveness, whatever you want to call it. Um, these two are definitely going to be going in, but I don't know really what to take out. Now we can take out. Okay, we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the substitutions now. Well, not the substitution, but the switches. What we're going to do is take our fusion, future fusion, and we're going to put in and a third desires because you really don't want to banish a lot. And it's, it's good for the draw effect, but then again, it's not good when you banish most of your monsters. And since we only play 17, we do need our monsters. And future fusion, once again, requires monsters, but the deck is so turbo that it sometimes, as of right then, we didn't have enough monsters and stuff like that. So, you guys let me know the changes that I just made. Do you suggest anything else before I get back um, in the video, which would be probably um, Friday, I believe, because I do think I have four decks I'm going to play this week, uh, or four decks I'm going to play for the next, I guess, two weeks, which is... Um, you're going to play D-Hero. We're going to play Crystrons. We're going to play another deck that was sent to me um, a, probably a couple, of, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. It was another deck that was sent to me. I never got to it, but I'm going to get to it now. So that deck, Crystrons, D-Heroes, and we're going to play a version of Shared New Zombies or something with Gozuki because I, I love that card. I'm glad it's finally out, and I just want to play with it as much as I can. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys tomorrow with another video.